Hi, this is Mary Angela, and this is my November message, 2016. In numerology, November for this month in 2016 is number 11 month. And for some of you, you may have remembered last year, last December was an 11 month. And 11 is a master healing number. So for this month, just really connect with the healing frequencies that are going to come through for you. So the healing aspects I want you to think about as a master frequency is what self-healing are you going to be doing for this month? This whole year has been about letting go and releasing. And for some of us, it's been quite um, challenging, the relentlessness of the releasing. But if we don't release, we can't allow something else to come through. We have to release to allow the new birth of something even more amazing. So the things to consider for this month is your self-care, your hydration, how much water you're drinking. Remember, some of you may not be able to absorb water well, just as water, H2O. So by putting some lemon juice or weak fruit juice in your water to get the hydration into the cells, and that way your cells will be toxing and cleansing, your lymph will be moving more effectively. The other thing to consider is um, who is around you, who is supporting you, or who is draining you. This number 11 month is about really connecting with those people that are going to help with your healing. So being around people that are like-minded, supporting frequencies, rather than those that drain you. So to be really clear, who can you let go right now? Who can you perhaps distance yourself from that have been taking too much energy from you? Another aspect of the 11 is your food intake. Now for some of you, the 11 may want you to have more food to ground the energies with the healing frequencies. So just be really mindful of having more protein, less carbohydrates, and even if you do have sugar, because you know, dark chocolate is great, but not going to the extreme. It's always about the balance. If you've gone too much into the sugar, what can you start bringing to balance that? protein, um, some good quality, you know, nuts and seeds and meat. And for those that can tolerate uh, your legumes, lentils, chickpeas and beans would be great. So think about that to balance the energies coming through and to ground you about curbing the sugar and bringing it back into the balance, that center point. Another element is exercise. You have to move your body. You can't go around saying, I have no time. It's paramount, just like meditation is essential component to your balance this month. It doesn't take that long. It's, you know, 10 minutes a day moving your body, going up the stairs, walking a bit further from your car is all key elements to help to support you. So just have a little think about what you can do today to start including more exercise, to create the movement. This will create more movement within the lymph, generating the release of negative beliefs that have been holding you back. Because remember, this is the heightened month of 11 to support the best that you can. So another component is the meditation. Now I know a lot of you say, I have no time, but I want you to incorporate it in your lifestyle. When you're exercising, come in and be from that mindful place. What are you focusing on? What do you want to create? So even when you're having a shower, these are the moments that you, um, you, know, you connect together. So you're having your shower, you do your exercise, create a bridge because they're the times that you're linking that centered place of connection to the divine and to the earth when you're in that neutral space of allowing that connection and the guidance to come through to support you. The flip side of the 11 is being a victim or a martyr. And this will be aggravating your nervous system. So increasing your magnesium, um, any fish oils, any other um, herbs to support your nervous system like Hypericum, which is St. John's wort, um, chamomile, lavender, they're all great to bring in that nervous system you know, consolidation. So it's all about balance between supporting yourself or going into powerlessness and I have no voice or, you know, people aren't going to support me the way I need to. So you always have a choice. It's about moving from that negative limiting mindset of being powerless to what can I change? What can I think so I can bring my mind back into that balance because you'll be flinging from 
self-care, love into, no, I can't do it, I have no choices, or people hold me back, or situations, or my environment hold me back. So it's about bringing that centeredness between the two extremes to having less of a pendulum swing between the two elements. It's always a choice about how you let people influence you. When I was in my um, late teens, I started my process towards meditation. My mind was crazy. I had no way of really controlling those thoughts. But, you know, I just started, you know, so it's just about making that choice about starting. Whereas now I can do it more effectively than I've been doing for decades. I'm, I'm asking you to really hone in your choice about your self-care and what you need to do to support yourself this month to get the best results. And I'm also running a new workshop starting the beginning of November that will support those that are ready to heal and bring in new frequencies of connecting to the ancestors. I've done a lot of work on this myself and accessing the guidance from Egypt and Atlantis to bring in high master frequencies from crystals and connecting with um, sacred geometry from Egypt will help you to harness your skills and really clear those issues. You think you've been doing well, but there's always something that holds you back. Well, this workshop will help you to hone in that thread, all those possibilities, all those links that perhaps you haven't incorporated to get the best result. So I look forward to supporting you in my Illuminated Path workshop that starts in um, November. So have a great month. Think about supporting yourself to really harness the healing qualities of this wonderful November. <laughs>